Yep. Yeah. Let me know. Is so good? Hold on. I'm gonna I'm gonna like zoom in at before you go. Okay, you just tell me when. Mm-hmm. That I go. <laughs> when I go, mm-hmm, okay. wait two seconds right, and go. That's the cue? Yeah, wait so, two seconds? Yeah. Okay, got it. Mm-hmm. Howdy folks. I'm Andrew Flair. You watch Bobby Guy Films. What's up guys? Welcome back to another one to a beautiful, beautiful Foul Fridays. I'm glad you all made it through the work week like I did. I know that uh, the five day work week can be a struggle at times. So I'm welcoming, welcoming, welcoming you all here to another Foul Fridays. So real quick before we get started, uh, today is Wednesday, so I'm filming this Wednesday. Tomorrow's Thursday, me and Flair are doing our live stream where we are announcing to all of you guys at 7 p.m. If you missed it, go back and watch it. It's, I, I'm acting like you guys are going to see it, but this is Friday when you guys are watching. Yes, I'm an idiot. So guys, yesterday me and Flair did a live stream uh, telling you guys about our waterfowl company that we just made and what we're doing what our direction is on here on YouTube and videos and involving you guys and hunting the whole nine yards so if you haven't seen that yet go check that out uh, it, we did it on my channel so just go back to the home page and find the live stream the last live stream right there let you guys know so enough jabbering this video is basically a follow-up of my giant spreads video that was I think two videos ago that I think it went up what Tuesday so this is a follow-up my buddy Gerald that I've told a lot of you about he is one badass goose hunter duck hunter calling the whole nine yards just knows the just knows the species you know I I know hunting but Gerald like knows hunting he called me hey go go follow him right here Gerald he, he's a He's a freaking funny son of a gun. He'll make you crack up. His Instagram's hilarious. A uh, bunch of waterfowl hunting involved. So go hit, give him a follow, follow. Show him some. I'm stuttering here like an idiot. Go show him some love. He's my boy. We'll be together a lot in the field this year. I can't wait. To get to the meat and taters of this video. I've been pushing and trying to teach you guys hunting in white suits. Like these. Like these, <coughs> Jesus, cobwebs everywhere. Like these bad boys right here. So I've been trying to teach you guys that. You guys were really interested, you know, from watching my hunts last season. I do a lot of in white hunting, so I've been trying to teach you guys. Now, like I said, this is a follow up to the giant spreads video. In the last video, I taught you how to sit Canada geese. Not Canadian, believe me, I got roasted for calling Canada geese Canadians. It was just a joke, but I'm glad you guys have a sense of humor like me. But the video was about sitting Canada geese with snow geese, socks, you know, the whole nine yards, and how you mingle those together to make one huge spread to attract nearly everything. But one major thing I didn't think about dealing with you guys, the viewers, and this is where Gerald called me and he was like, hey man, you need to tell them this you know you need to tell them this side of it because a lot of these people you know up north canada blah 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 different parts of the country only have you know honkers they don't have a big abundance of lessers uh j just big honkers and he, he reminded me and and i knew this but i just didn't think about it that much like i said gerald he's just on it so props gerald so long story short is if you guys are hunting honkers, say you went scouting, you found a field for the next day that is honkers, this white technique will not work for you. Honkers do not land with snow geese. Now, honkers will land with lessers, but if there's snow geese there, they will not land with them. Snow geese probably don't give a shit. Snow geese are loud, they're obnoxious, they're, they're just blah, they're everywhere. You know, snow geese, when, when you watch snow geese hunting, in the late season, uh, conservation season, they, they use those dang stereos that are louder than hell. They're just nasty, greasy, slime ball birds, man. So think of it like the hunkers are kind of stuck up. You know, they don't like eating, feeding, nothing, nothing having to do with snow geese. So if you guys are scouting, you guys are going to hunt honkers, mainly honkers. Don't use the white technique. 
it will not work for you. Now guys, don't freak out on me. I understand the thumbnail of the Canada Goose, not Canadian, is a lesser and not a honker. I don't have honker decoys, so just freaking love it, would you? Now, just for reference to take y'all back, check out this picture. This is the white picture again, the Canada Geese. Uh, oh man, sorry for the burping. The, the Canada Lesser Snow, the Snows, the Canadas, all mixed together. And uh, this is what you cannot do to hunt honkers. This, this technique, this white, it's dedicated to specks, snows, and lessers. This white technique, guys, is only for those three birds. But guys, I'm not going to get into the anatomy of why they don't like each other or anything like that. Because honestly, I don't know. So if you guys know more about this this theory, you know, what I'm talking about here, please drop a comment down below. If you have more information than I do about this topic, please let me know, guys. I have I kick my ego to the side all the time. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. You guys can prove me wrong, that's fine. I really don't care. I think this is all fun. I love having the community, all you guys out there who love the videos, who's all beginners or, or avid hunters that love to conversate about waterfowl all damn year long. But anyways, go check out that live stream if you have it. it. I'm sure it was gold. Like I said, it's Wednesday right now, so I really don't know. I just want you guys to go check it out, man. Uh, I want you guys to know what me and Flair are up to. We got so many great ideas for you guys. So, so many new things to bring to waterfowling, to, sorry, the light, to, to duck hunting, to goose hunting here on YouTube. And, and we're doing it for you guys. It, it hasn't been done yet, so that is what we're aiming to do. Oh, but like I said, Gerald, go give him a follow, guys. If you want to uh, follow somebody extremely, you know, savvy, smart when it comes to waterfowl, and I'm not trying to suck him off here, <laughs> but uh, he is. He's, he's extremely good, guys. Go give him a follow on Instagram. Uh, we're actually going to be doing some videos together coming up. A lot of you have requested wanting to see goose calling, goose calling, goose calling, goose calling. I, I can cluck, I can, I can do a double cluck, I, I'm not really savvy savvy on goose calling, so Gerald and I are going to team up on that, he is a gosh dang beast at goose calling, so he was like heck yeah man I'm down for that, he loves what, what me and Flair are doing, we hunted a bunch last year so I am pumped to have him on board. I want to thank you guys, all you new subscribers, I see all you guys, great comments, all the positivity, I've, I'm, I'm enjoying every minute of it guys. If you guys haven't, go show Lake Fort guy some love. Uh, he just got issued with a brain tumor. It seems to be benign, which is good. And uh, just go show him some support. Sh send him some uh, positive vibes, man. He's a great guy. Positive vibes coming your way, man. But anyways, I know I didn't get real particular on this video, but I think it was a very good statement and something that you guys really needed to know. <clears throat> something that I needed to be reminded of, to be honest with you. So drop your comments about this, guys. I want to blow this up. I want to answer what all questions I can. I'm going to stop jabbering. Have a good one, y'all. Please subscribe if you haven't. Peace.